USA Today Sports put together five players who are under the most pressure this year. Their list includes LeBron James, Carmelo Anthony, Chris Paul, Kevin Durant, and Steph Curry. Star-studded list. If you can't stand the heat, get out of the kitchen. Skip Bayless, which player has the most pressure on him this season? Well, I'm going to have to take a left turn from USA really? Today. Okay. Molly, Stephen A., I believe that CP3 has about three times more pressure on him going into this season than on any other NBA star. Before I launch, allow me to pay my respects to Chris Paul because with a, an all-time great clutch shot, he did knock out my Spurs in Game 7 at Staples last year. Much respect for that shot that he made and did come back and play hurt on a iffy hamstring in that game. But... Stephen A. Smith, if Chris Paul does make another all-star team, which we all assume that he will, and he fails to make it to the conference finals yet again, he will tie the great Dominic Wilkins as the only nine-time all-star never to have made it to a conference finals. So my nickname, my sarcastic nickname for Chris, CP0, concerns zero rings. But, but... You have to go one worse with Chris at this stage of his career because he hasn't even made it to a conference finals, not a conference mm -hmm. finals. And again, after you've added Paul Pierce, Lance Stevenson, and Josh Smith, and obviously they re-signed DeAndre Jordan, you have loaded up to the point that now the pressure mounts on the leader of the team, the best player on the team, the point guard of the team, Chris Paul. He's got a lot of responsibility on his shoulders with the Players Association, very obviously, but he has even more responsibility right now with his basketball team because as he reaches the backside of his career, it is time for Chris Paul to break through and validate his greatness. The pressure is just monumental building on the shoulders of CP3. <sighs> Skip. I can't malign you for what you're saying. I get your point. But I think it's important that you recognize, and, and I remind this audience, that we completely disagree on how we look at the game of basketball. Yes, Stephen Naismith, my favorite name, my favorite nickname that you the, the me, inventor but, of basketball. But the bottom sport, line is yeah. you, you were covering the NBA since mm -hmm. I was in elementary school. Mm -hmm. So I'm not, I'm going to show you your respect. All right. But we, here's where we disagree. You look at CP3 and act like he's supposed to be LeBron or Kobe or somebody along those lines. I don't look at him that way. In fairness to you, the very own, the great Isaiah Thomas sat here. He did. And sided with you on that. But if you recall, I disagreed with him. And you know I love me some Isaiah Thomas, two-time champion in the NBA, NCAA champion, one of the all-time 50 greatest players, who got robbed and should have been on the original Olympic team in have. Barcelona. Absolutely. Let's point that out. But the reason that I respectfully disagreed with him is because he would tell you that people were saying Isaiah Thomas has to win one. I say no. We were saying the bad boy Pistons have to win one. They kept knocking at the door, and they had the team. They had Lambeer and Rodman and Mahorn and, 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 you know, and Vinny the Microwave Johnson and Joe Dumas. You know, they had all of these guys with the great Chuck Daly, God rest his wonderful soul. They had all of those guys. So we looked at them and said, they have to win the title. Not to say that Isaiah's name wasn't mentioned because he was the leader. But yep. you said they. Because when you're six feet in the land of giants, there is but so much you can do. Chris Paul averaged 19 and 10 last year. He averaged 22 and 8 in the playoffs. Chris Paul, it, it is rare in the day that you see the Clippers lose and you say, it's because of what Chris Paul didn't do. Those are rare moments. Against now he had, the Rockets? No, 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 no. Against the Rockets, that's true, because here's the deal. You have to throw him in there when you got a 19-point lead. Near the end of the third quarter, you get outscored 49-9. to nine. You get blitzed by the Houston Rockets. Him and Blake Griffin, absolutely. But when you are six feet, Yep. And not athletic like that. You know, you're just, a, you're just a brain, an extension of the coach. You're the ultimate floor general. You're the quintessential point guard. You, there are jobs that you have to do, but you can't do it for everybody else. Okay. When we look at a LeBron and a Kobe and guys like that, a D-Wade to a lesser degree, you know, even now in modern day era, the James Hardens of the world, they have the size 
athleticism yep. and ability mm -hmm. to cover for what other people can't do, whereas a point guard has to facilitate you doing it, but ultimately you got to be the one to bring it to the promised land. That's where we differ, which is why Chris Paul, to me, is not the one under the most pressure. I think about a guy like Carmelo Anthony, who's been to one conference finals and has never been to an NBA finals. You 6'8", you're a score machine. You can drop 25 in your sleep. There could be, but they ain't nobody expects the nobody's team. Gonna, nobody's going to okay, expect right. the team. But here's where I give you, this is the name, that's why I won't put right, Melo there. Right. This is the name I'll put above Melo. And Chris Paul. Are you ready for this? Yeah. Dwight Howard. Dwight Howard. Let me tell you That's why. One. Let me tell you why. When you think about Dwight Howard, Skip Bayless, think about James Harden. Think about the year that brother had last year. Think about the fact that he le he has a legitimate gripe, even though we both picked Steph Curry and we believe he deserved it. It was by a narrow margin. I agree. James Harden is a superstar no in doubt. this league. All right? When you add the fact that they just acquired Ty Lawson, if he can stay off the sauce, you know, he's all right. I got love for him. Right. He just got an issue. He, I'm sure he's going to deal with it. I he's a so. good guy. All right? It happens to a lot of people. But if he can stay off that, yep. you got a point guard with James Harden, okay, and who pushes the ball up the floor and can make things happen. Houston Rockets were in the conference finals last year. Mm -hmm. How come you can't make it to the finals if Dwight Howard shows up and play? Dwight Howard is the $88 million man. Dwight Howard was the one who left Orlando, went to Los Angeles, talking about his brand and everything else, and wanted to do something. Dwight Howard, to me, when all is said and done, this brother shows up, He's even though DeMarcus Cousins to me right now is the best big man yes. in basketball, Dwight Howard has a chance to be that again. If Dwight Howard can do what we know he can do, Houston could beat anybody. Okay, but he has failed so many times. Well, I think nobody then, expects him to do no, much. No, 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 no. I do. Okay. I believe in Dwight Howard. I expect. I, I have. I have expectations for Dwight Howard. It ain't hope. Mm -hmm. This brother can play. Now he doesn't have the greatest post game in the world, okay. but I'm talking presence. I'm talking his defensive prowess, his ability to rebound, to block shots, to change shots, to make a difference on the defensive end of the floor, to run up and down the court offensively and score points that way. Dwight Howard with, with right. James Harden up in there, yeah. you need to step up. Last quick point okay. yes. on Chris Paul. Trust me, the one man, even at six feet tall, the Spurs fear the most when he locks in and sure. gets in that, that zone that he I gets agree in with you. is Chris Paul because he goes berserk. Right. And there are times he's unstoppable and Doc's constantly saying, shoot the ball. Yeah, shoot the but, ball. But, but you know, his makeup is not that. If Chris Paul were Allen Iverson, then I get you because Allen Iverson wanted everybody to play defense and offensively just get the ball past half court and give it to me. That's Allen Iverson. Well, that is Paul not good. Allen that is, Iverson. But he's never been that. He's not. That's not who he is. That's not his makeup. That's the difference. And Iverson took him to the finals. All right. Most pressure this season. Stephen A says Dwight Howard. Skip says CP3. And by the way, as an aside. I've been actually stopped in the streets a couple of times with people asking me stupid questions. Is Allen Iverson a first ballot Hall of Famer? You're damn right he is. First ballot. Easy. I just want to throw that out there. We can go to break now. <laughs> what are people thinking out there? What's, what's wrong with y'all? <laughs> Allen Iverson ain't no question. The first NBA. ballot Hall of Famer. It's, it's day one. Kicks off today. Yeah. We're going to keep the conversation on the hardcore. Curry versus Harden versus Anthony Davis. Who will be this year's real MVP? We're crowning them. That's next.